Pansin nga rin, ano, nung game one, yung kakulangan in terms in uh, in terms of bench production, lalong-lalo na para sa Barangay Hinebra, Jin Kings, itong starting lineup na nakikita nyo ngayon for the Jin Kings, scored all except for two points nung game one. Oo, oh, that came from uh, Rodney Santos. Pero yun ang uh, isa sa mga gustong i-address ito si Coach Shot ng Kinsen, ano, yung uh, kailangan magkaroon din naman ng puntos coming from the bench para hindi maging predictable yung kanilang offense iba. At bumabawi naman para sa kanyang absence late in the fourth quarter. Willie Miller para buksan ang scoring ng Tony Nicolotas pero pawiyag lang mga kaibigan tabla na tayo at 3 well in my mind na itong si Helter Brand JJ Helter Brand is making the the difference dito no, sa uh, semifinals and also in the quarterfinals stepping up big time in the absence of Val David Oh, the quarterfinals natin nakita yung production ni JJ Helterbrand kumangat. Naging uh, nag-average na siya ng double digits during the quarterfinal run kasama rin si Sunday Salvacion. At syempre, magandang balita yan para kay Coach Shotan Pizze. Right, oo. Oh, at uh, makikita natin yung bench nila. Rodney Santos, the only guy who scored, the only uh, bench player who scored para sa Barangay niya. He's also averaging about 8-9 points a game. He has the capacity to erupt din eh. Or explode rather. Taking it strong, para naman sa talking text phone pass, I see Ati Taolaba. At uh, ito kailangan siguro rin natin talakayin, Barry, ano, yung strategy ng talking text phone pass of going to their big man, Ati Taolaba. Well, that's understandable. Ano? Uh, you've got the uh, 2003 most valuable player on your team. So, yun ang pupuntahan mo sa ilalim. Sa backward, pupuntahan mo yung 2002 MVP mo naman, si Willie Miller. So, this is... This the, these two guys are in full strong attack nitong uh, talk and text and kung si Eric Mink ang tatawo dito kay uh, Asitaw Laba Eric Mink will be giving away about 2-3 inches in mm -hmm. high disparity so maga gusto kong i-exploit ni Coach Joel Ball yung strength ng kanyang team Some free throw para ting para kay Asitaw Laba second time around it is good one point lead para sa talk and text phone fouls sa pagsisimula ng first quarter para sa pagpapatuloy na coverage ng ABC of the 2004 Matador Brandy PBA Fiesta Conference sa kapusin Vito Lazatine alongside Barry Pasqua at courtside. Eric Meng Pasqua kay Adubal Adubal reverse this good. And that's a good sign para sa panig ng Barangay Niembra. Romel Adukol in the land of the Giants scoring and uh, he scored 10 points in game 1. He could put the game last year. Kasi yung pass pa dun sa 10 points. Malaking goal siya. Gerald Danica tumutulong from the outside, giving the Talk and Text phone down a two-point lead. At nakita ko pa baba itong si uh, Tori Braggs at si uh, Gerald Danica. Para nagkakasagutan na, nagsisimulan na ang trash talking. Well, Romel Adukul. Ano ba ito? Third? Third foul ka agad ni Romel Adukul. Matindi, ano? Mabigat ito, ano? At nung foul ni Romel Adukul. And that would mean... Uh, the entry ng si Andy Sigan who was scored in game 1 and siya kailangan pumuno kung sa ginagawa nitong si Romel Adukol which kanina we were just passing off camp uh, itong si Andy Sigan would be a better match dito kay uh, Aksaw Laba height wise that would free Eric Meng Eric Meng could be sliding down to guard Victor Pablo Eric Meng nakakatulong na rin mula sa labas cutting the lead now to 2 Para sa Talk and Text phone toss, 9 to 7 with 10 minutes and 2 remaining. Loose ball, abulan. At kanina mapupunta possession. Babalik sa Talk and Text phone toss. Konting nga mapunta sa atin. Eh. Yun na nga eh. Buti usoli Pero natin bola. Hindi naman pwede mapunta sa atin <laughs> yung possession. <laughs> 12 seconds sa shot clock ngayon ng Talk and Text phone toss. Jimmy Alabag at the head of the class. Pablo from the outside. And it has been a sniper fest dito sa first quarter. Miller tumitira sa labas. Meng tumitira sa labas. Pati ito si Big Pablo. Nakita na rin natin si Gerald Honeycutt. Well, three three-point shots coming from Talk and Tech. So, umpisa nito ang ating naro. So, ibig sabihin ng Talk and Tech sa so, uh, work cut out. Sa labas muna sila titira dito. Hoping na bubuka yung defense na itong barangay Hinebra. At pag bumuka yan, they will go to Ato Tau Lava. Cut, open look, in and out, rebound in Mark Kagiwa, the spark. Paso ngayon, there's the open lane, there's the jam for Torre Bragg. Well, yun ang uh, mistake ko ng si uh, Joel Hanik at anas mundut siya. And chances are malilibre kapag uh, hindi na complete yung skill. Eh. And uh, Paul asked to allow him to give up a, a foul. Pinabayaan na lang niya si Bragg. Apat na three-point shot. Grabe to. Grabe to. 
Si Paul Laba lang ang hindi pa umiis pa ng 3 point shot. Lahat ng apat ang score na eh para sa Tokyo Tech. Nakita na natin si Ati. Hit a few threes before. Kagiwa again. Beyond the arc. No. Rebound to Seagull. Corey Bragg. Tumalaksak. Extra pass down for Seagull. Seagull. In baseline territory. Good for two. Well, nabasa natin kaninang umaga yung mga accounts on uh, Andy Seagull. And he's frustrated with his game. He, he wants to uh, make up for that. It looks like he's doing just oh, that. Ah. This is a good start by Andy Siegel getting the defensive rebound. Drags the baseline. Wala mapupuntahan. Ang basa. Basang basa ni Asitao Lava. It's back to the talking tech mobile. Hinihingi man ni Andy Siegel yun. Hindi dapat ibigay. Dahil well covered it. Dapat inikot mo nalang yung bola. No post naman ngayon for Willie Miller. Covered ni Mark Kagiwa. Labas kay Honeycutt. Inikot kay Pablo. Pablo overcooks it. Sign love sa three points up eh. Oh! Pinilit ni Mark Kagiwa. And the spark making the impossible possible. Alam mo, yun ang isang matchup na masarap panoorin dito. Yan o, Kagiwa versus Willie Miller. And I feel yun ang nag-spell ng difference sa game one eh. Kagiwa with 28, Miller with 14. Miller was up 28 points. He was held to only 14. So, kung sa punto yun, nakalamang hindi entro eh. Kick out pass to Willie Miller. Honey cut. Tinitawa na naman. And at the last second, good for three. May payo ka ba na lang? Umuulan po dito sa loob ng Bill Sports Arena. Umuulan ng stress. And with 7 minutes and 16 pa na natitira sa first quarter, ang mapataas ang stress. And this is the rise. The revelation. Andy Siegel. Well, ay nabuhay dito sa game 2 siguro it was a blessing na nagkaroon ng tatlong calls agad itong si Roma nagbuko 3 point shots 5 na para sa top and tech na 71% from the 3 point area this early yun nga yung pinag-usapan natin off cam before this game na yung 3 point shooting ay magiging malaking bagay rin dito lalong lalo na para sa barangay Hilebro Jim Kings pero yung mukhang yung mukhang uh, nakikinabang talaga dito sa press ay ang Tokyo Tech Moon Pals oo oh, dahil nakakalima na sila eh, no? Jimmy Alapag with, uh, with one, Hanikat with two, Pablo one, and Miller with one. And the entire King, King squad eh, medyo lifted the intensity level several notches higher. And again, hindi rin natin nakita ang numero ni Romel Aduka. Yun na nga, eh, no? kasi we were saying, uh, ito sa Astolab outscored Eric Meng 23 to 11, but we left out the fact that uh, Romel Aduka, one of the, uh, the other frontliner para sa Barangay Hinebra, scored 10 points. So, kung pagkasabahin mo yung uh, numbers ni Eric Meng at sa uh, one more three pointer. This time, we'll have Jimmy Alapag. Alapag. Hesitation. Honeycut sa gitna. Miller. Hinanap si Taulaba at the low post. There's the double team. Sino ang libre? And Mark Delan. Iyan ang sinasabi natin. So, dami ang three point shots na ipasok ng token text. Eventually, in defense ng uh, Baraghini ito, luluwag, opening up the possibility na maka-score sila sa loob. And Mark Tilan did just that. Torrey Bragg did for that, taking three phone calls to school that time. And one opportunity para kay Torrey Braggs. Torrey Braggs, lowest scoring import to the round ng Fiesta Conference. But nonetheless, integral factor, <laughs> integral component ng uh, Barangay Hinebra, Jin Kings. Very aggressive in the middle. 15 rebounds per ball game. Malaking oh, bagay. Very impressive. Ito si Torrey Braggs. It's the third import ng Barangay Hinebra dito conference na ito. The Jin Kings started with Rafael Ellis. Tapos natin si George Rees. Bago ito si Torrey Braggs. Nagrap sila talaga nung yung import na kasi spice ni Art Long eh, parang gano'n eh. So, tinignan mo si Torrey Braggs, gano'n ang feature na ito sa Torrey Braggs eh. But, kumaga, uh, gusto ng Ginebra, eh, dominant import din eh. Willie Miller nag-ahabol pa rin, making up for lost points from Game 1 as he scores another two points para, para sa post fouls. Kagiwa. At the high post for Torrey Braggs, handoff. Nice, soft baby shot from Andy Galit Siegel. Galit yun eh. <laughs> Kaya tayo ni, dahil sa nabasa kanina umaga eh. Parang hindi ito yung Andy Seagal na nabasa nga natin sa dyalo kanina umaga. Talking about being frustrated sa kanyang laro lately. Kung mas galit si Miller. E kung hindi natin nakita ang Willie Miller at the end of game one. Willie Miller, the thriller. Unstoppable from anywhere. Dito sa first quarter. 
Siegel, quick turnaround, Siegel offensive rebound, and Siegel for the putback. Oh, every intensity level ni uh, Andy Siegel dito. No, eight points in the ball game, three rebounds for the big guy. And he's defending against Astao Lava. Sato-sato ang pagbalik ni uh, Andy Siegel sa kanyang laro. Kung kailan foul trouble na si Romel Adukol. Kaya para sa mga nagtatakaw, ba't wala si Adukol dyan sa lineup? E nakatatlo na pong personal foul si Romel Adukol. Sabi nga sa Sound of Music, eh, di ba? When God closes the door, somebody opens a window. Uh -oh. di ba? Parang ganun eh. No? Itong, napagsarahan itong si Romel Adukol. He had to leave on three fouls. And this is a blessing in disguise for si Siegel. Possession on Jin King, still a four-point lead by the Simone Bowl. Four minutes and 36 remaining, starting first quarter. Kagiwa against Miller. Both equally quick and flashy players. Loose ball, bodies on the ground. Nagtawag ng timeout si Taulava. Umabot ba? Yes. Umabot. Umabot niya, and it is a 30-second timeout para sa Talking Tech Sonda. Oo, oh, eh, nakita mo, mababa kasi ang pasa kay Andy Siegel. Well, uh, itong uh, Talking Tech. But good news naman para sa barangay niya because Andy Siegel coming off the bench to replace a foul riddled Romel Adukol scoring 8 points, howling down 3 rebounds and redeeming himself. Itong si Andy Siegel. At si Coach Joel Banal naman with the luxury of having a deeper bench. Pero sa ngayon, eh, isa pa lang ang pinapalitan niyang player and Mark Milan being the only substitution made here. Clean swipe. And the first foul, uh, para dito kay Asitao Lava, na ago na yung bola sa kanya, eh, no? Good uh, steal there by Torrey Braggs, hirap na hirap kay Asitao Lava. We feel that uh, Andy Siegel on uh, Asitao Lava is a good matchup. Kito mo, walang mapuntahan. Right. Si Pangalawang personal foul na pala yan, eh, Asitao Lava. <laughs> Take a look at uh, Braggs and uh, ito si Hanigat. Ito nagchichikahan po, eh. Brand with an open look. Are you long, back? Are you long, back? Can you read me? But don't look now. Isan na yung kalamangan itong uh, talk and text despite the fact that the phone calls have made six three point shots. So, ang tanong dito sa first quarter, hindi sinong uh, sinong tumitira ng three pointers. Ang tanong dito ay sinong hindi pa <laughs> na tira ng three pointer dito. <laughs> Lahat ito! Oh, hindi kasi 3 seconds na rin natin tira eh. And here's a foul by Andy Siegel. That was quite unnecessary. Hindi naman lalagpak sa kanya yung bola. Malayo yung talbog eh. And he pushed off. Ito yung siya sa Taulava. 3 team fouls para sa Jim King. So make that 4 team fouls para sa barangay in every Jim King. Si Asi Taulava here in the first quarter. Balikan natin. Helter Brand. Helter Brand medyo binigyan ng puwang ni uh, Jimmy Alaba. Ang laban na nagpahinga. No? Pinasok na rin ito si Felix Delano. So, kumbaga, if uh, maragihin niya ito once to pull away, ngayon na dapat yun. Ngayon na dapat yun. At ang uh, papasok naman na uh, tower of strength para sa phone calls ay si Yancy Leo Campo. Dito naman sa kapanan ng Jin King Siegel in the face of Honeycutt. High looper, wala. Tataka naman tayo ba't tumigil si Siegel? Dapat yung drive niya. Baka hindi pa buong-buo ano, yung kumpiyansin na dito. Baka paunti-unti yung pasok. Honeycutt from three. Tatlo. Three three-point shots coming from Gerald Honeycutt and seven three-point shots overall. Eight three-point shots overall. That's 24 points na right there. 24 out of the 31. Out of 31. Galing sa three-point area. <laughs> We're saying three points at low percentage shot. Uh, Mark Kagiwa missing on his first opportunity. At kung ang setting ito, tulad na sinabi natin sa taas ng ating coverage, eh nasa kamay ng backcourt. Base sa ating first quarter, it has been controlled by yung backcourt of Tonga Tech's own pals, Willie Miller at si Jimmy Alapag combining for 16 points out of the total 31. Tama ka, pero ito kasi si Mike Kagiwa, hindi naman talaga gumagawa ng first quarter to eh. Second half gumagawa ito eh. <laughs> Don Belbelano, hitting the long one para maging lima na ang kalabangan ng phone. Bounce with 2 minutes and 35 remaining sa ating first quarter. Eric Mick, binalik na. Back out to Sunday Salvacion, seeing uh, his first minutes of action dito sa Game 2. Almost a steal, si Rodney Santos, ipinasok na rin ni Coach Jotang Kinsen, etong double team against Bragg. Three seconds on the shot clock. They will have to take this running jar! The Rodney Santos is good. Presence of mind coming from Rodney Santos, and he knew that the time was running out. Wala na, nagbabol pa sa dribble eh. 
maliit ang lineup ng uh, Barangay Hinyeb na ngayon. Ano? So they will try to drive on speed. Ito naman sa pwersa ng phone bounce. Miller off the glass. Offensive board ni Yancy De Ocampo in the land of the Giants. And again, ito si Torrey Bragg showing weakness ng kanyang mga kamay. Ano? While back, natapikan din niya si Asi Taulava. Now, it's Yancy De Ocampo's turn na matapikan. That shot ni Yancy De Ocampo is off the mark. Three-point lead na lang ito para sa phone fouls. Rodney Santos, dapat si Dottel Belano. Sunday Salvation, kukunin kaya niya to. Well, meron siya niyan, ano? meron three oh. points at ito si Sunday Salvation. Isa sa mga gunners ng Barangahin Yembra. Pero Felix Belano, he was wide open for that shot. Kontrolado muli ang possession ng Jin Tins as Mark Kagiwa finds a way! Medyo hindi pa pulido yung mga bala na itong si Mike Kagiwa eh, no? dito sa first uh, quarter natin. But uh, eventually, if he settles down, eh, magkocontribute din yan. Honeycutt, naghahanap ng cutter. Honeycutt on the outside, goes to Willie Miller. Five seconds to shot clock ng phone pass. There's the kick out. Honeycutt! Fires for three. Kali ni atas, ini sentral jutiran ayun. Apa kalau nine three point shots in the first quarter alone? Betul sih ada putus ayun ni. Grabe tu si Anikat. And the foul called on Gerald Anikat. Well, that's the second foul on Gerald Anikat. Betul si Tori Brax wants to talk things over. With his teammates, so Hanikat, apat ng three point shots na dito, ano, lahat ng pinakawala niya three point shots ay pumasok. Ito, galing nga sa parking lot, eh, nakita mo, because time was winding down. Gerald Hanikat, the man with the hands of gold. Gold, gold, pink, my dust. Hello, gold finger, eh. Give me the name. Dory Braggs. Good on his first free throw attempt at si Torrey Braggs and uh, uh, walong puntos na dito sa first quarter. So, wala pa rin uh, double-digit scoring dito sa kapuna ng uh, Barangay Hinebra. A while back, ang nakita natin nakaupo doon sa scores table, si Romel Adukul. Siguro naisip ni Coach siya, tangkis siya, oh, nga pala, takdo na pa ako sa ito, ba't ito'y babalik ko dito? First quarter pa lang eh. At saka 39.2 na lang ito eh. Baka laki ito yung score, ang laki ng score, pang halftime na yata ito eh. Hindi, first quarter pa lang yan. Opo, this is a high-scoring ball game sa ating first quarter. 36 to 32. At ang culprit, mga kaibigan, three-point shooting. Eto na naman. Ako, mapasok pa naman yun eh. Sobra ka na. Pero mala, pero maganda yung linye. And Kagiwa! Ow! The assist from the spark para kay Torre Braggs. Pala niyo si, eto si Coach Sotang Kinsenhas. Really... Work on Mark Kagiwa's passing skills, ano? Nakita mo, very unselfish game si Mark Kagiwa, eh. Nagpapasa ng bola. Setting up his teammates well. Playing decoy. Ito, ba tayo magmadali? Patuloy pa rin ang outside bombing. Ang talking text phone calls. And Bellano, missing from three. At ang Barangay Hinebra, Jim Kings, looking for a hard foul. At pinag-uusapan niya yun ang ating mga officials whether that will be a flagrant foul abad kay Bellano. Hindi, itatawag nga ba? At si Coach Sotang Kinsen right now in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the playing field. Well, dapat talaga you... itawag eh, no? And what's bad here is nasa penalty na itong talk and text. So, bibigyan ng dalawang free throw si Mark Kagiwa. Ang necessary na yun kay, uh, kay Felix Bilano dahil ano to, one-tenth of a second remaining okay, sa ating laro. Kahit masalo ni Mark Kagiwa yun, hindi naman niya may, may titira eh. It should really be cold, though. Dahil sa harap natin nangyari yun, eh. Oo nga, nakikita talaga. Kita natin yun, eh. Sila, itawag yun. The contact wasn't incidental, eh, di ba? Wala sa pwesto ito sa Mark Kagiwa nung matanggap na yung bola, eh. Lead pass kasi yun. And nasa ilalim niya, ito si Felix Bellano. Dahil sa foul na yun, ang barangay ni Virgin Kings ay may pagkakataong maitabla pa ang ating uh, score bago matapos ang first quarter. One more and we will be tied at 36. 
Alam mo, pagka i-pinroll check natin, natin itong score na ito, abutin tayo ng 140. Oo nga. Kung ganito yung magiging score, pero kagiwa falling short. Yung nangyari dito sa first quarter, at syempre, una dyan sa ating agenda, yung three-point shooting, yung nakawala, para nawala yata yung depensa on both sides sa mga shooters. Well, actually, yung depensa was concentrated dun sa shaded area, eh, sa malalaking mama yung depensa, especially itong uh, barangay Niebra. Dahil siguro, tinignan nila yung stats ng game one as a taula pa got away with murder in the shaded area so they clamp down on defense in the shaded area hindi mo lang bukas yung labas ngayon which is of course uh, ibibigay mo na yung labas kesa dun sa loob eh tama o uh, kaya lang pumasok ng pumasok yun ang outside shot yun ang problema dun eh but uh, hindi mo naman pwedeng gawin yung the entire game eventually the three point shot will take her off eh. no parking violation laban kay Yancy Del Campo at babalik ang possession sa Barangay Hinebra may citation na binigay parang gano'n kailangan marami kang dalang pariya para yung parking meter mo wala pa rin Romel Adupul sa pagsisimula ng second quarter for the Gin Kings three personal fouls maaga pa lang sa first quarter kaya si Andy Siegel ay mabibigyan na naman ng playing time and Andy Siegel what a way to open up yung ka yung kanyang laro ngayon dito in game 2 8 points na para dito kay Andy Siegel he was wide open for that shot eto ang gin na lapag parang ang layo eh no talagang 5-6 feet away from the 3 point arc eh parang ang limited range talaga eh ah sige itira nyo mga pag half court lang pwede nyo itira parang ganun yata eh pasok ngayon si Kes Siegel Mataas ang kumpiyansi ni Coach Scott kay uh, Andy Siegel giving him a lot of opportunity. Actually, Siegel is up against uh, Ian Sideo Carlo. Eh. No, appearance lang pag-uusapan na magdalaman si Siegel doon. Eh. Dapat nga talaga, puntahan mo ng puntahan si Andy Siegel ngayon. Dahil si Ian Sideo Campo lang ito. Eh. Kahit sabi mo mas uh, matangkad ng bahagya itong si uh, Deo Campo, experience yung pag-uusapan, Siegel makakalamang. So you should take uh, Yancy Del Campo to school. Ika nga. Mm -hmm. Corey Braggs drawing the foul. At siya ibibigyan ngayon ng uh, dalawang free ones from the charity stripe. Uh, to Corey Braggs. Well, you see ito, parang kay Hinebra missing a lot of uh, free throws. Ano? Doon sa first quarter, ito simula ng ating second quarter. Nagmintis ko naman ito si uh, uh, Corey Braggs. Ano? Corey Braggs is an uh, import with a lot of attitude. This is a Fiesta Conference coming off a 36-point performance in Game 1 sa kanilang serie laban sa Fonda. Two-point lead ngayon para sa Jin Kings. Alapag on the outside. Pinanap ngayon si Pablo. It is Salvacion laban kay Pablo. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Alapag may open lane. Gets the pass inside. Hook shot ni Yancy Di Ocampo is no good. Rebound ni Braggs. Elter Brand off to Braggs in the middle and then si Andy Siegel nakaabang na but the slasher. Rodney Santos takes the outside shot. Well, and nakita mo how itong si uh, Sunday Salvatron snatched the ball from behind dito kay Patrick Fran. In the first quarter, Talk and Text had nine three-point shots. Nine out of 14. At taas nun, 64%. Yung 9 na 3-pointers ng Token Tex, inalampasan yung 6 3-pointers ng Token Tex kung buong laro in Game 1. So that was 6 out of 23. Yun nga. Ito, 9 out of 14. Sa klase. And that soft touch ni Andy Siegel, andyan pa rin tumutulong sa Jim Kings. And now Andy Siegel in double digits. Pangalawang Jin King to be scoring in double digits next to Torrey Brax. 10 points in the ballgame for Andy Siegel. Jin Kings protecting a two-point lead. Helter Brand gets the green light para sa tres. Deo Campo with a rebound. Jimmy Alapag magtutulak nito for the Dokitex phone calls in Alapag. Zips the pass. Sinigisipan muna and now Pablo steps up for three. This is what we're telling uh, in nanonood sa atin. Uh, hindi araw-araw pasko from the three-point area. Magka-taper off din sometime, somehow yun. Okay? Hindi high percentage yan eh. No-look pass mula kay Jimmy Alapag para kay Patrick Fran. Don't tell that to Patrick Fran. <laughs> Mukhang mamaya pa yata magta-taper off yung sinasabi ko ng outside shooting body. Ang masasabihin ka Patrick Van, hindi na sa naniniwala dun eh. Mabilis 
Angelou Numbola for the Chief Kings and Helter Brand bangs it in for three. Ayaw nga ba tumigil pa eh. Cut counted daw pag dalawa lang eh. At uh, nakakapagtaka lang ano, Barry na pa parehong gumagana rin naman yung outside shooting ng dalawang kapanan. Pero base sa nakikita natin, mukhang wala pang ginagawang defensive adjustment wala pa on the outside shooter. Parang, eh. parang sa loob ng sa loob yung defense eh. No? Hindi siya hindi si na challenge yung outside shooter sa magkabalang kapanan eh. Talk and text already has uh, 10 three-point shot drags. Com Commits first foul. Asi Taulava with only one point uh -huh. scored so far, ano? Ito nakakapagtaka ito, yung usual source of points para sa talking text phone pass. Bukod kay Gerald Honeycutt is Asi Taulava. Eh, okay lang naman daw eh, dahil yung mga kampi niya para itres ay kinutungol eh. <laughs> Sabi nga niya, bago siya, tumira na ako ng tres. Hindi pa namimiss, ano? Hindi pa namimiss yung uh, usual scoring niya. Hindi pa eh. Gwama na dupol, check back in, replacing ito si Andy Sigan. Andy Sigan, parang dumare-diretso doon sa dagot ah. Ay, may nararamdaman. Baka. Diba? Kaya pinilitan siya eh. No? At uh, Torrey Bruggs, pinagpahinga rin. Eric Mank is in the ballgame. Kaya yun, no? asa ka wala mo, dire-direto yung sudago at sila. So, and Jim Kings will be running on all Filipino power. Salvacion, Anikot, rejecting uh, the pass at may iwan sa shot clock ng Jim Kings, 15 seconds. Sina so, binag, drop pass, ano? Dahil ang tangkad nitong si Anikot eh. But drop pass going to Eric Mank, yun ang ideal dun. Dukul screen, running jumper, KK Helterbrand, jackpot for two. It's not yet true, he scored 13 points a game one, now he has 11 points. KJ Helterbrand, talagang uh, stepping up big time in the absence of Pal David, it is Helterbrand. And considering the last kill, wala sa dito. Pero pa? Honeycutt, nagtulang sa tres that time. Here come the Jin Kings in transition. Kagiwa, why wasn't he challenged them? Asa Taulaba, Gerald Hanekat, right there in the shaded area, one of the, these two big men could have challenged Mike Aguiwa. At ang asa lima na, ang kalamangan ng Jin Kings, 47 to 42, ito na ang pinakamalaking kalamangan ng Jin Kings in this game. Here comes Big Pablo, his floater is good. But that's a good sign para dito sa panig ng talk and text. Ano kasi kanina, panay outside touch po, pasok sa kanila. Dapat may variation sa kanilang plays. Dapat sa loob naman sila kumuha ng puntos ngayon. At meron ako napapansin dito, Barry. It's a great all-around game para sa lahat ng mga players dito. Uh, Talagang lahat tumutulong. Eh, malaki yung nakataya eh, di ba? Oo, oh, championship yung nakataya dito eh. Rebound ni Adukul. Here comes Helter Brand. Wala pang kanyang suporta. Here comes Kagiwa. Kagiwa in rush hour. Well, and itong Hanukkah, he just uh, stood his ground there. But Kagiwa had to be creative. He missed that layup. Eight-second violation laban sa phone fouls. That was an unforced error, no? Jimmy Alapag took his sweet time bringing the letter down. Mabuhay na naman yung outside shooting, ano? Eh, kasi yan, yeah, sa first uh, quarter lang eh. Nine three-point shots na yung naipasok ng token text equivalent. 27 points na yun eh. Mm -hmm. Ang laki na masyado nun eh, no? And somehow, eh, hindi na ganun ka productive from the long point. Itong panic ng uh, token text eh, taking the game inside. Shelter Brand, back to the spark and Kagiwa brave three-pointer. Rebound ni Gerald Honeycutt. Willie Miller magbababa para sa phone fouls. Well, I'd like to add lang doon sa kaninang interview kay Sean Pankisena. And he always says that about Mark Kagiwa. Na when Mark Kagiwa commits an error or makes a bad shot, will call Kagiwa, pagsasabihan niya, Kagiwa hindi siya nagdadamdam pag pinagsasabihan siya ng coach niya. Mm -hmm. He returns to the hard court, a fired up man. Laging ganun yun eh. Dapat siguro laging kagalitan ni coach Sean. Why you bigla sabihin na, yun ang magandang character eh, para sa isang PBA player. Babalik naman tayo sa aksyon dito sa second quarter with 5 minutes and 45 remaining. Double team on Braggs. Taiwang Libres, Eric Mank for 3. Kagiwa, rising up for the rebound. Naku, sayang. No look pass kasi eh, no? And hindi na-anticipate itong si Romela Ducol. You see Romela Ducol saying, Pwede mo ganun ko baba, pwede naman bigay mo sa akin sa chest pass. Ano eh, di ba? Isa na naman, isa na naman pagkakataon para sa Dockey Tech phone fouls. At mabubuo na naman ang backward combination ni Willie Miller at ni Jimmy Alapag. 
Malabag off to Miller, the thriller. Dima Puntahan si Asi Taulaba. Five seconds on the shot clock for Willie Miller. And Big Pablo at the last second in and out. Rebound the Asi Taulaba and the mighty rock with two points. Right. Uh, siguro sinasabi ni uh, Asi Taulaba, okay, mahala kayo si Mira sa labas. I'll take care of the rebound team. Playing the role of garbage man, ano? Para sa phone pass. Kaya na nalala lang, eh. first option, eh, di ba? Rags turnaround jumper, wala, humahabol na, unti-unti ang phone pals, and with the, uh, they could regain the lead here, Honeycutt. Well, they do. And Gerald Honeycutt realizing the outside shot, siya hindi na po ang pass, try to take it a little bit closer. Hindi naman sa challenge ito sa Torrey Bragg. At kung hindi ako nagkakamali, Barry, yan ang first two-point shot ni okay, okay, yeah. Gerald Honeycutt. <laughs> Elter Brand off for two. Na baby, and that is traveling. Traveling, laban ni Torrey Bragg. Hindi ito mamasing. Hindi naman inabot ni Asa Taulaba eh. Hindi naman na-deflect ni Asa Taulaba. Hindi naman ni Torrey Bragg. Siya Bragg picked it up. So traveling yun. For a while, kala natin matatawagan pa ng foul si Willie Miller. Dahil si Mundut eh. Pero hindi, traveling na unang tawag eh. Babalik ito sa kamay ng phone towel. led by as much as six points to the first quarter natin. Now with a one-point lead, Willie Miller. Paso ngayon kay Honeycutt. Honeycutt getting that first step laban kay Torrey Bragg. But he missed kasi sa ilalim nang rin tumama yung bola eh. Bragg's one-on-one laban kay Asi. Finger roll no good. Eric Meng major pain. Problem there was that Asi tau laba was trying to ask the referees if there was a foul or not. Okay, hindi siya bumalik agad sa depensa. Nalibot tuloy si Eric Meng. Pag wala ka namin ng pito, huwag ka na magreklamo. Yun lang yun eh, walang pito eh. Galit tuloy. Gerald Honeycutt with the assist para kay Ate Taulaba. Ay, mo tabawag ng foul ha? Babawi na lang ako with two points. Rags off with the jumper. Dito naman, Jimmy Alapang! So the one-two punch of talk and text speaking now, Taulava and Alapag. Alapag with eight points in the ball game, Taulava with six. Now, mapapansin natin, panay sa loob na. Nagagaling ang puntos ng talk and text. Samantala, dito naman sa Jin Kings. Subuhan rin nila ang kanilang half-court set. But Helter Brand takes it back outside. Rebound here ni Vic Pablo. Back to the talk and text phone pals. Willie Miller in the middle. Nawala. Bodies on the floor. Kanina mapupunta ang loose ball. It's back to the Jin Kings forward. Oh! Napatas ang pasa! Well, alam mo, tama naman yung pasa eh. Just that Mike Akiwa was looking at the ring. Nakamalaking kalabangan nakita natin dito so far in the first half was six points. And now talk and text with a three-point lead. And talk and text, hindi na umaasa sa kanilang three-point shot. Now they're doing a good job taking those shots on the inside. Tulad nito from Gerald Honeycutt. Oh, and you see Gerald Honeycutt kanina. Four straight three-point shots. Ngayon sa loob na siya naglaro. Yan, 16 points in the ballgame. We have the entry ni Bong Rabena dito. Na fresh pace para di si panic ng talk and text. Rodney Santos naman, babalik para sa Jin Kings. Kagiwa, one against two. Libre si Braggs. Braggs off with a jumper. Honeycutt with a rebound. At ang tag team ni Miller in Alapag. Will this work for a three? Wala. Parang yung three point shot. It's already certain itong talk and text dito. Sabi siya, tapos na yan. Salud naman kayo. Braggs at the low post. Quick swipe ni Gerald Honeycutt at ma at ma Iwan. 11 seconds on the shot clock now para sa Barangay Hineba. Well, pero di kitan pa rin itong laban na ito. No? Although ito talk and text, 5 point lead kanina. It was as high as 6 points. Mm -hmm. Barangay Hineba's biggest lead was 5. And again, Mark Tagiwa making that happen. He attracted the defense. But you see, uh, Torrey Braggs is wide open for that slam. Bong Ravena na iwang libre at deadly position para kay Bong Ravena, the patented wrist shot for three. 
Sa mga rameron lang kasi hindi pala katilin na siya. Siya na lang kasi si Asi, di ba? Yeah, oh. yeah. Kasi ikaw naman. <laughs> Parang may kota. Parang we could see him coming eh, di ba? Power move ni Eric Menk for the hook shot. At babalik sa apat ang kalamangan ng Dr. Tech, Bontals. Bontals now set it up. Ravenna off to Gerald Honeycutt. And here it comes Nakatapak again. Eh. Nakatapak siya eh. Oh, it's long two, yeah, long two. It's the worst field goal that the player can make. Kita kata apa kata three point there. Kita boleh nasi lang tres. Kita 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 nasi lang
Ito ang dalawang tag team na kukuparan natin. And so far, <laughs> tabla pa. Tabla, tabla pa, pa di ba? And to consider, na Kagiwa, only 6 points pa lang. And we're talking about Kagiwa being more productive sa second half. Up to Honeycutt, now Lava now on baseline, or rather on the baseline, Honeycutt, he went to the man. Well, that's a six three-point shot from G, uh, Gerald Honeycutt, looks like uh, parang it's the first quarter all over for Gerald Honeycutt. Hindi pa ba kaya ito cause for concern para sa barangay na ba Jane King, Barry? Well, kung magiging cause for concern yan, that would mean Tory Vlogs would have to start out. Diba yun ang mangyayari doon eh. Pag ito si Tory Vlogs bumabas para depensahan, ito si Gerald Honeycutt, eh, Paul Aspital Lava will have his way to the shaded area. Pero Tory Vlogs naman bumabawi naman dito eh. And he has a three-point play opportunity. Pero dito kay uh, Torrey Braggs, already with 18 points as compared to the 20 point it was Gerald Hanikat. Four personal fouls laban kay Romel Aduhul kaya mapipilitan si Coach Shot ang Kinsen na iupo muna siya and bring back Andy Siegel. Well, Andy Siegel din, nasa may uh, dalawang, team, dalawang personal fouls. Ano, ito si Andy Siegel but as you said, he's making up for uh, an unproductive uh, game one. May isang pumpuntos na. Miller. Off to Taulava. Taulava, lapit agad ang double team. At sinong malilibre dito? Miller, slashing through the paint. Got the move mula kay Willie the Thriller Miller, but no result. Well, he was in too deep. Hindi niya nakikita yung uh, board that time. As Taulava failed to control the rebound. JJ Helterbrand, laban kay Jimmy Alapag. And this has been a telling match. Parang ganda talaga ng one-on-one -on -one matchup. Helter Brand laban kay Alapag at meron ka pang Kagiwa versus Miller. Oo, oh, yun talagang uh, magandang match. Kalina lang, kita na natin yun. Eh, no? And uh, Helter Brand, 13 points in Game 1, 13 points na siya ngayon. Awkward running jumper mula kay JJ Helter Brand. At bababa sa Gis, ang kalawangan ng Tech, Coffee Tech phone call. It's import versus import, Honeycutt. And he's tripped by Torrey Bragg. Ang bilis talaga ng kamay nito si Torrey Bragg sa nakasin. Third time we saw him do that in this game. Parang kuha rin yung timing eh. Kuha niya yung timing. For a big guy, very deceptive yung alam kung si Torrey Bragg siya. Bragg's on the outside. Will he take it himself? Ang pasa, wala. Save ni Eric Nick to no one. At mauubos ang oras ng barangay Hinebra. Uh, kahit na nasa lang ni JJ, ni Mike Kagiwa yun, wala na rin mangyayari. Hindi niya may angat yung bola eh. Balik naman sa panic ng talk and text. Tao lava, pop and drive. Uh, uh, traveling yun because he lost his balance. Inatrasan siya nitong si Andy Siegel. Wala siyang matukuran eh. Coach Joel Banal, kanina nakita natin yung feature dun sa skwelahan nila. No? I was May talking about pass. yung kanyang misis si Jenny. Jenny Mapua Banal, one year ahead ako sa high school kay Jenny. Kasi... Ah, talaga! <laughs> <laughs> Kaya kilala ko yung misis. Kasi Joel, nakita ko lang sa college. Pero si Jenny, nung high school, magkasama kami na. Nothing for JJ Helterbrand dun sa tira na yun, but there will be free throws coming. For the young Barangay Hinebra Jin King guard, nabanggit nga natin, disappeared from the scene for one season. Well, return to the United States, ito si J.J. Helderbrand, ano, at uh, sat out for one season. But uh, ngayon, nandito na naman sa Barangay Hinebra, and making a big difference in the absence of an injured Bal David, ano? Bal David, brain injury. Uh -huh. so, si uh, Bal David, first free throw ni J.J. Helderbrand, is up in 14 points in the ball game. Mike Delan will be checking in for Victor Pablo. Pablo, kanina nakita natin yung slam dunk, breakaway slam dunk mm -hmm. ni Victor Pablo. Bira na natin makita yun. Yun yan. So, oh, eh, dahil... At atangkat na naman itong lineup ng uh, Talk and Text Phone Pals with the entry of Mark Delan. Kaya yeah, nga, Victor Pablo uh, entered the pros the PGA in the 1993, that's sort of 12 years ago, and he still has strings in his legs. Mm -hmm. One inside, yeah. one inside! One inside. Hey, hey. Delan? Di mga kapunta kay Tao Lava this time. Honeycutt will provide the screen. Velano. 
That's the way Nikagiwa. Now Bowie ni Miller. Another steal from Torrey Bragg. It's back to Milano. Milano for three. Kore, hindi pa nakakatira ng three points. Tayo na lang. Tayo na lang. Hindi pa nakakatira ng tres dito. Tayo at saka si Asi. So Milano, may score na rin ng tres. Lahat yata sila yun ang target niya yun. Lahat tayo may tingi-tingi sa three points yan. Well, numahabol na sa kota. Ang talking text contest in terms of three points. Shooting fake from Andy Seagull. Comes up short for the point blank jumper. Miller naman. Too hot to handle. At ito, nagkakainitan na si J.J. Helterbrand at si Don Bel Belano. Well, I'm called for, no? Ito si Felix Belano. Readily acknowledge yung foul kanina. He was still confronted by J.J. Helterbrand. Wala na dapat yun, eh. Pero baka masama pa ang loob ni J.J. Helterbrand. Baka sa incident na nangyari kanina, kay Mark Kagiwa naman. Baka, kung baka. Kaya, kung saan natawagin ng technical foul, ito si Don Bel Belano. Colliding with uh, Mark Kagiwa earlier in the first quarter. Tignan muli natin ang uh, nangyari kanina. Ito yung uh, nawala yung possession kay Miller. Sumatabot na si J.J. Helterbrand. Wala naman eh, di ba? Wala naman eh. Oo, at saka nakag-knowledge naman ka agad. Wala si, naman, uh, di ba? Nag-knowledge ka agad, di ba? Tapos na eh. No, no need to be to, to confront. Oh, oh. Spin move and the reverse from Torrey Braggs. Wala, rebound niya. Di Seagal na wala. And now, Belano against Kagiwa. Kick out. Do Honeycutt and uh, Miller now. Miller, Miller wala. Pagkakas, fine bola. Pagkakas. <laughs> There's a push oh. by Mike Aguiwa. Diretso. Uh, Itong si Felix Delano. Incidental contact yan. Uh, oh. Nag-carried away by his emo uh, momentum. Itong si Mike Aguiwa. No, no cause for concern that time. Uh, si Don Bel Belano, eh, nagpakita naman ng composure. As he was uh, not, you know? Alam mo, what's happening here is that itong si, itong backward na yung baragahin niya, bro. Uh, Kagiwa and Helter Brand are losing their cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's bad for him and Brand, no? especially if they're trailing nine points. Kitang-kita naman mga kaibigan, hindi na talaga napigilan ni Don Del Belano yung momentum niya after bumping into Mark Kagiwa. Why? Oh, the second technical foul and he's out of the ball game. Kika, paano nangyari ito? Si Don Del Belano complain. Tignan natin. Tumastik siya eh, di ba? Si Don Del Belano yung uh, parang kanina nga, napag-usapan natin siya lang ay naging biktima doon. But now, Don Del Belano okay, is, is now truly the victim kung uh, ma-enforce nga itong technical foul. Pet, may tawag na yun eh. May tawag na. So, talaga yung technical na yan. So, Belano is out of the ball game. Eh. Pangalawang technical na naitawag sa kanyan. And on top in text phone pal coaching squad na pinumumunuan ni Coach Joel Banal, not very, not at all happy sa mga pangyayari dito. Well, but if you look at the lineup of uh, top in text, you see na napakalalim ng uh, guard rotation nila eh. No? Uh, itong si uh, Patrick Fan, kung sa uh, Jim Alapag, nandiyan pa si... Uh, Uh, Jonathan De Guzman. Seldom miss nga lang ito si Jonathan De Guzman. And if you pick it or into it, even Willie Miller can play the point. So obviously, yung lack of depth sa lineup ng uh, barang, na, ng Talk and Text phone pals, not an issue. Not an issue as far as point guards are uh, concerned. Para dito sa panic ng, uh, ng uh, Talk and Text phone pals. Si Patrick Fran ay papasok muna. Hinahanda na rin ang pagbabalik ni Jimmy Alapag. Play continues dito sa third quarter. Six minutes and 38 remaining. Long jumper. That's And non-stop three-point shooting para kay Gerald Honeycutt na parang seven three-point shots in the ball game. Parang pinababayaan ito si Gerald Honeycutt. Gerald Honeycutt cannot miss. Kahit kung gusto pa niyang i-miss, parang hindi niya magagawa eh. Oo, ano, at uh, dapat siguro meron talaga humahabol kay Gerald Hanegat kahit maliit na tao. Kahit na itong si uh, Torrey Brad, kahit na yung isa sa maliliit na tao na itong Barangay Hinebra na iilangin lang itong three-point area itong si Gerald Hanegat and will probably uh, make Gerald Hanegat uh, think his options na uh, will I take a three-point shot or will I drive? Pag tumdrive siya, karangin siya nito si Torrey Brad. Ganun yun, huwag mong pabiyaan bukas ang bukas. 13-point lead para sa phone pals. 14 seconds a shot clock ng Jin Kings. Out to Helterbrand. Helterbrand laban kay Alapag. Helterbrand, there's the low post setup. Torrey Braggs. 
Rory Braggs with the jumper from up close. Battle for the loose ball. Now Bowie, the Andy Siegel. Inside to Eric Meg, intercepted. It's three on two. Patrick Fran. Honey got the set up the rest. Why? Short this time. Why? At the Abilanaman Siegel with the fake. Siegel to the ground. He lost his footing, and I don't see uh, Andy Siegel. He probably was thinking, will I execute the slam dunk or what? Mm -hmm. and then, and then he, he wasn't sure of what kind of a shot to take. I don't see Andy Siegel. See Andy Siegel, I papalitan muna to uh, make way for Torrey Braggs. Well, actually, si Rodney Santos. Ah, si Rodney Santos pala. Oh, so, uh, dalawang uh, malaking frontliners at dalawang uh, malilit na malalaro pa sa panikam parang ngayon niya ba. Shift in strategy ito. The miss mula kay Jimmy Alapag. Back to the parang ngayon ever, Jim King. Rodney Santos at the corner. Torrey Bragg, there's the inside pass para kay Eric Meng. You see guys like uh, Jan Sede Ocampo and uh, Mike Talan atutulog sa depensa that time. Sa kabila naman, Honeycutt. Ito naman ang uh, handoff niya for Jan Sede Ocampo and that is taking one step too many para kay Jan Sede Ocampo. He was already in his comfort zone. Ano, itong si Jan Sede Ocampo, hindi na niya kailangan pa lumapit. Dapat iniangat na niya kaagad yun eh. No? Dahil Torrey Braggs was already minding itong si Gerald Honeycutt. The second turnover in Ayani, Ansi Deo Campo okay, in this uh, ball game. Oh. Well, a lot of things to learn pa naman para kay Ansi Deo Campo. A very young player pa naman ito eh. Patuloy niya ng pag-abo ng barangay na ever Gene Kings and it's another phone bounce foul. That's the second foul on Patrick Fan and the 15th foul on the stock and text that puts stock and text penalty pero bago yun ito si Torrey Braggs maangat naman eh no? bibigyan ng dalawang free throw ito si uh, Torrey Braggs a 9 point lead being enjoyed by Token Tech lead was largest at 15 points and 70-55 Braggs misses the first free throw Torrey Braggs 74% shooter from the line at nakita niya po ang uh, napakadaming fans nagpunta dito sa Phil Sports Arena to enjoy Game 2. Ganda nga kanina ng kansyawa ng mga fans. Eh. Hindi lang natin ay pakita oh, sa PBA. Oh, yun, nagkakasagutan kasi po dito. Yan po talaga yung kagandahan ng panunod ng PBA Games Live. Lalo-lalo na ngayon at nag-iinit na ang aksyon. Tumataas na yung stakes. Kaya nais po, naman, na, nais po kayo namin imbitahin, imbitahin na panunod naman ngayon ng uh, Games Live. Although nagpapasalamat rin kami na nanunod kayo ngayon over ABC. At sa linggo, Araneta Coliseum. Yes. Yeah. Gusto nila. Oh, Tama. Araneta Live naman sa Araneta Coliseum yan. Yeah. Eric Meng with a follow through sa sarili niyang miss. Ito na naman ito eh. No? Itong token text led by 15 points in this game. Boba na ngayon yan. Anim na pun uh, walong puntos na lang ito. They're letting, they're allowing the fans of Baragay niya but to get into the game. Sabi nito, Ghanigat. No, sir. Walong, walong three points at sa. At mga ang utos dito kay Gerald Honeycutt, fire at will. <laughs> Ganun ba yan? <laughs> fire at will, ha? Huh? Kagiwa. No, ang sarili, binigil ang go signal to take the three. The second half na lang, sabi niya. Tama yung oras na. Oh, yeah. Oras na. Oras na para magpakita. Gerald Honeycutt driving to the baseline. Right to left! Oh, pwede kong kandidato yung doon sa star mode, eh. Pwede. Pwede, oo. Oh. Pwede, oo. Pwede, oo. At may kasama pa ang uh, shuffle si Gerald Honeycutt pababa. Torrey Braggs comes up short. Well, that's a good foul to give by uh, itong si uh, Rodney Santos. Ano, dahil lamang naman sa numbers itong parang kay Hinebra. So that's only the 13 foul ng Gene King. Gerald Honeycutt was already streaking down court. Na ayaw ko nga lang itong si Jimmy Alapag. Eh. Pwede nang ibato eh. 21 seconds. competitive spirit As Ravenna, the wrist shot. In and out for Bong Ravenna. A while back, he scored a three-point shot. Dito naman sa kapanan ng Barangay Hinebra, Eric Meng. 
Rags, Rags at the top of the circle. Di naman si Tore Brags na yung malapit na naging 10 feet away. Eh, ang maasahan mong papasok ang tira niya. 22 points ngayon para kay Tore Brags. At dito naman sa phone bounce. Moving shot from Gerald Honeycutt. Napawi ni Patrick Strand. Fresh shot clock to the phone bounce. Honeycutt. At ito, mas dinidikita na siya ngayon ni uh, J.J. Helterbrand. Well, yun na nga sinasabi natin kanina. No? Okay lang, you put a small guy on Hanukkah. He's making rethink his options from the three-point area. Impressive move. An impressive ball handling mula kay Mark Cagiwa. <laughs> At dito sa Field Sports Arena, nagpapatuloy ang, ang, ang aksyon. Game 2 ng best of three semifinal series. Between the Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings at the Talk and Text Phone Task, ang Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings po ang lamang sa serye. At kung manalo po ang Gin Kings dito, sila ay didiretso sa finals. First time in three years. At kakalabanin nila ang mananalo naman sa serye between the Coca-Cola Tigers at ang Red Bull Barack. Well, napalag na nila kanina yung game po niya. Hindi natin alam po ano ang naging resulta. If Red Bull won that game, the playing series na yan. Oo. Nine-point lead for the Talk and Text phone fouls. Anthony Miller, Bobby began a pagkakaton at the free throw line. Here he is, and the thriller. Ambi Dextrus in kaliwain ginami. Well, he's in double figures. Ano ito si Willie Miller? Twelve points in the ball game. Make that thirteen. Prior to game one, he was averaging twenty-seven or twenty-eight points a game. Actually, he was the player of the week. Oh, nakaraan ano? Ito si Willie Miller because he picked up the cudgel. When uh, Talk and Text uh, beat Red Bull without Asataw Lava and Gerald Hanika. Yun yung na-suspend sila, number uh -oh. one game. Three seconds on the shot clock para sa Jin Kings. Kinakailangan na iba to ni Torrey Braggs and he makes it. Uh, and Braggs now with bragging rights over Hanika. Tapos pala Torrey now with bragging rights. And Willie Miller, hindi pa rin siya tapos. Duelo nila ni Mike Agiwa. No, you shot one over Mike Agiwa. Sabis doon niya. Ano ba? Second half ka ba? Ako rin. Second half din ako. Sagutan lang nangyayari dito. It's back to a 10-point lead para sa phone foul. Sunday Salvacion. Locked and loaded for three. Mark Delan with a loose ball. And a flash forward. Oh! Get away play sana. Well, ito si Bong Rabena. Minutali niya yun. And I could have taken one more dribble bago ibinitiwan yung bola eh. Missed opportunity para sa phone fouls. Now Rodney Santos. Kumuha ng screen mula kay Eric Meg, the floater. And outnumbered si Torre Braggs sa labanan for the rebound. And it will be decided via jump ball. So Braggs hanging on with sheer strength. Ano sino ba ang ka-jump ball niya dito? Hanikat ba? Si Hanikat, yung kanina pa niyang uh, kakwentuhan. Sika-sika <laughs> silang dalawa eh, no? Yung uh, chika-chika na tinatawag natin, trash talking, ano, dito sa... Parang hindi trash talking, eh. Hindi, eh. Para bang, can you do that? Oo oh, nga, parang yabangan, eh. No? Parang gano'n. <laughs> Ito kaya nagsasagutan siya. Ah, hindi, hindi pala. Hindi pala si Honeycutt na instead. Eh. Alam ko si uh, Mike Delan, eh, no? Ito ngayon ang import matchup natin, Honeycutt leading, so leading scoring. rather, on scoring. Uh, pero sa ibang departments, drugs, ang uh, nakakalamang ng bahagya lang. Kaya naman lamang yung Hanikat, ang daming 3-point shots eh. Nung walong 3-point shots na eh. Doon pa lang eh, 24 na eh. So jump ball between Torrey Braggs at ni Mark Telan. Kanino i-award ito? They will re-jump! Hindi malay inaw kasi kung sino huling nakatapik eh. Also parang kay Bong Rabena huling gumaan yung ball eh. Yeah. So hanggang hindi masabi kung kanino last touch, i-jump ball ili ito at ibabalik ito sa gitna. Oh, eh, bakit, bakit itong dalawang imports sa tatalo? Hindi naman silang dalawa last touch. So, At ito, yung, dalaw uh, yung dalawang uh, koponan, pwede. ano? Tama nga, silang dalawa nga. Yung dalawang koponan, arguing kung kanino, uh, kung si kanino nga yung last touch. And it will be import versus Tama import. Tama yan, kahit sino pwede. And Gerald Honeycutt will win this time around. Talk and text phone calls. Fade away jumper, Willie Miller! Well, this time, it's Miller getting the better. Ito kay Mike Aguiwa, no? Miller, 7 of his 10 points scored all in the third quarter. And 
MVP type shot from the former MVP, Torrey Braggs, hand off ngayon kay Santos, Santos with an open look from three, Miller. That was Salvacion. Oh, or rather, oh, Tama Sunday, Salvacion for three. You can't shoot them all, para kay Gerald Hunt. He was wide open that time. At agad-agad sila pupunta kay Willie Miller. Oh, oh what kind of a shot was that? <laughs> Yan talaga yung uh, nagagawa ng isang Willie Miller eh. Ibang <laughs> klase eh, no? Saan lang gagaling yung tira, hindi ko alam eh. Hindi pa tapos yung options ni Willie Miller kahit nakatalon na siya eh. Alam mo, mga ganun tira na eh. Panahon ng isang uh, sikat na left run player din eh. Ito, tignan muna natin kung saan lang gagaling yung tira. O, oh, yung baon, oh, nalipat pa niya sa kaliwa. Ganun-ganun yung mga ginagawa ni Sambo yung tira. Skywalker, oh. Eh. At siguro ni Miller, ako rin, galing left run eh. Most three-point field goals made this conference is 14. For a team, ano? For a team. For a team. Yan yung uh, nagawa po yan ng uh, Red Bull in the quarterfinals last June 19. 16 three-point shots na. Para oh, so ito na yung new record, ano? Uh, dito, ah. Uh, pero sabi siguro ni Banagay Niebra, team manager Alan Kaili, kalayan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <nga. laughs> lang yan, eh. well, nobody knows that better than the trigger man, <laughs> not the Alan Kaidik. Now, the team manager, Barangay Never Jin King. 14 point lead, 21 seconds and counting. Bago matapos ang third quarter, time enough for one last shot para sa Barangay Hinebra, and it is JJ Helterbrand, exacting ng oras. Mga two second differential ito, ano yung game clock at shot clock. Six seconds on the shot clock now for the Jin King, Helterbrand. Punta kay Santos, Santos, stop and pop, wala. And that will be it. Hindi, meron pa pala eh. No? Oo, Pero backcourt pa. naman yung uh, inbound nito eh. No? Punta kay Miller, Miller launches it. Pwede pa sana yun. Hindi na action mula sa Phil Sports Arena in game number two between the Talk and Text Phone Pass at ang Baringa Hinebra Gene King sa kanilang best of three series. Isa na lang ang kailangan para makapasok sa finals. Pero 14-point uh, wall ang kailangan akyatin ngayon ng Baringa Hinebra. Well, every quarter, ano, itong uh, Talk and Text, they took every quarter. At namang asal ng 14 puntos dito. But it ain't over until it's over. Dahil nga nung game one, eh, 10 puntos in 4 minutes to wipe out itong... Uh, so Tok and Text cannot afford to rest. Kailangan pukpuk pa rin ang pukpuk dito. Si Vito Lazatin po, kasama si Barry Pasco sa pagpapatuloy ng coverage ng ABC of the 2004 Matador Brandy PBA Fiesta Conference Semi-Finals. Well, this time, itong Barangay Hinebra nakakuha ng puntos from the bench. Itong si Andy Siegel, si Rodney Santos. Rodney Santos makes the first free throw. Ito si Romela Ducon na nagsisimula ngayon para sa Barangay Hinebra Jean Kings. Eh, medyo shaky ground pa rin siya dito no? sa dami ng kanyang personal fouls. Hindi nga makadiretsi si Romela Ducon eh. Diba doon sa first quarter natin, maganda yung reverse layup niya. Pero tatlong fouls ka agad, nilabas ka agad. Third quarter, he started for Barangay Hinebra. Natawagan ka agad ng fouls, nilabas ka agad. Ngayon, he's starting for the Jean Kings. It's a fourth quarter. Eh, ano yung fourth four fouls pa lang naman eh. Baka pwedeng endure siya. Barangay Hinebra Jean Kings employing the full court press. Miller Pinali pa and it's back to the Jin Kings Helter Brand off to Rodney Santos Santos in the paint Finger roll is no good well, Rodney Santos wanted to do it his way Ken, He was in the land of the Giants Taulava and Hanikat He tried to challenge the big guys Ito na naman Talaga hindi maka Talagang hindi makakaalago ito si Romel Adukul dito, eh, no? Twin start ng quarter, palagi lang tatawagin siya ng foul. Oo nga, eh. Ang limang foul ito si Romel Adukul. Ito ang double team, laban si Vic Pablo, nakatakas. The bounce pass for Willie Miller. Miller, the contact. Nandiyan si Asitao Lava to save the day. Oo, oh, and Asitao Lava starting to ham dito, no? 11 points in the ball game para dito kay Paul Asitao Lava. Set up ngayon para kay Adukul. Adukul at the baseline. Well, at least bago siya ilabas. Ano, bago ilabas si Romel Adukul, makakakuha siya ng foul kay Paul Asitao. <laughs> okay lang, sabi. At he'll troop to the free throw line. That's the third foul. Ito si uh, Asitao Lava. At mukhang mag-aantay pa muna si Eric Menk. Bago siya makapasok dito sa ating fourth quarter. 11 minutes pang natitira dito. So much can happen. 
Looking back at game one, napakaraming nga nangyari in the last 4 minutes and 46 seconds of that game kung saan sampo ang kalabangan ng Talking Text phone pals and the Barangay Hinebo Jin Kings came back with a 19-4 run to steal game one. Uh -huh. So, uh, not yet out of the woods na itong Talk and Text ayun. Romelu Dukul missing both free throws but Corey Frank stopping the ball and Hinebo keeping ball possession. Drags laban kay Honeycutt. Ang pasa, kumagat sa fake si Vic Pablo, leaving uh, JJ Helterbrand open. Uh, titingnan natin yung field goal numbers ng dalawang kapanan in the third quarter. Field goal percentage ng talk and text. At mas maraming assist ng talk and text this time. Talk and text phone pals, phone pals coming together dito sa second half and running away with a 16-point lead. Over to Mark Kagiwa sa kabila. Kagiwa for three. Oh, and Mark Kagiwa, nakarami na rin ito. He has 14 points in the ball game after scoring only six to the first half. Sa kabila naman, Miller over to, over to Taulaba. Taulaba, he has to take it strong. Ano, dahil naman na yung pause itong si Romel Adupol. Oh, alam alam na yun. Alam na yun eh. Alam na hindi siya papaulin itong si Romel Adupol eh. At si Romel Adubol, well, alam rin na yun, kaya naman medyo mas maingat na ang kanyang pagbabantay si Asitao Lava. In heavy traffic ngayon, si Kagiwa, off to Helterbrand, nabura ang defensa and Helterbrand is wide open. And eto si uh, Jim Alapag claiming that there was a slight nudge, Helterbrand in a zone, 17 points in the ball game. Alapag, over to Honeycutt. Tao Lava, eto na naman. From the double team, Labaste Alapag, Alapag, the hop, the pass, and the scream of the last in the world, you know? Tando na yung defense na itong si Torrey Bruggs, but very creative talaga itong si Willie Miller. Ibang klase yun. Just another ordinary shot from Willie, the thriller Miller. Sa kabila naman, Rodney Santos is wide open. That's a three-point shot coming from Rodney Santos. He has nine points in the ball game. Alam mo si Willie Miller met 23 points na dito sa ating uh, ball game. We said in the seven games that uh, Talk and Text won, seven straight games, he averaged 28 points. Malapit ko siya doon. And if he reaches that, parang Talk and Text has, uh, uh, has got this game wrapped up. Oh, oh. Ano pang daman ang susubong sa press. He comes for it. Drags with a rebound. Jin Kings on the run. Helterbrand. Will change his mind, pero ito na naman si Kagiwa. Kagiwa throws a brick. Ito na tatakam ito si Mike Kagiwa doon sa kanilang matchup ni uh, Willie Miller. Oh. Parang gusto niyang sundan lahat yung punto si Willie Miller. Eh. Napaklear out ng coaching staff. Ito na phone pass. Ang sabi, sige, layo, lumayo kayo. Bayaan niyo si Willie Miller uh, work his way one-on-one -on -one against Mike Kagiwa. And Mike Kagiwa, masasampal ng kanyang pangatlong foul. Well, ito na siguro, no, uh, pandihin ito. But uh, Torrey Bruggs, pinagpahinga muna ng uh, bahagya dito. Meng and Siegel in for Bruggs in a two-pull. Willie Miller, former player ng uh, Batong Red Bull. Now, talking text phone pals. And it's phone pals ball, 12-point lead pa rin ng talking text with 8 minutes and 5 remaining in the ballgame. Si Helter Brandt naman ang didikit dito kay Willie Miller. Not an easy job. Miller... Tight baseline jumper, tip in the Asitao Lava, wala. Should have used the board, you know, it's Asitao Lava, it's still going straight for uh, the basket. At sa kabila naman, Andy Siegel ang uh, tatambay sa low post. Rodney Santos exploring his options, 8 seconds na lang sa shot clock. Eric Meng forced to go to Kagiwa, 4 seconds on the shot clock. Nawala sa kamay ni Kagiwa. Oh, completed, ano, dahil natapig na itong si Willie Miller. So at this point, itong si Willie Miller talagang is up so, sa kanilang matchup and, uh, with uh, Mike oh. Agiwa. Hindi lang in terms of points, kundi pati sa hassle. So, so, Lava in the paint and traveling ang itatawag against the rock. Well, Tau Laba looked at Coach Joel Manal. Sabi ni Coach Joel, Oh, traveling nga yan. Sige, buwa ba ka na. Magre-reklamo ka pa. Kami na, dun eh. 
And si Don Melvelano was, uh, was forced to leave kanina nung third quarter after being called with two technical fouls. So one man down na itong phone fouls. Aggressive move with J.J. Helterbrand. Wala. Talk and text. Nagahan up ng jump ball. But it will be a foul. It looked like it was clean by us. But hindi naman natin makikita yung iba. Baka may body contact yun eh. Tignan natin kung, kung, may, kung may papakita natin ulit. It looked like it was, it was a clean foul. Ito. This could be a better angle, no? I think rebound ni uh, Eric Meng. Ayun na yung nudge yun. Meron na eh. So, yun. May nudge na una bago yung supply foul. Eric Meng, 11 points in the ball game. Koy Francis back. Isang minutong pahinga. Pinalitan niya itong si Rod Santos. So, pandiin na ito. Kaya parang pinagpahinga muna itong si Koy Francis. Dahil hindi na kita ilalabas ulit. Sabi ni Koy Francis, naging set. Kaya naman, dire-diretso na ito. Hanggang dulo ka na ha. 7 minutes and 10 pa ito sa fourth quarter. Ang minuto, huminga ka na huminga dyan. Miller from the outside, punta kay Taolava, Taolava sinaksak sa loob, trying to control that ball, and Taolava in the end, gets up a shot. Oh, etong si, si Andy Siegel, hindi magandang gesture yun, baka matawa ka lang technical ito. Oo. Oh. Hindi na, dahil tumalikod na siya. So, third personal foul yan, laban kay Andy Siegel, Andy Siegel, ay naglakad na papunta sa bench in his frustration, ano? Kala niya, papalit na siya. O kala niya, six calls na. Wala na eh. That's what you call medyo nag-blackout eh, no? Wala yung concentration, di ba? Two free throws para kay Aki Taolabo. He makes the first. Taolabo with 14 points. Sila pa ang try kung sa kanyang performance nung game one where eto si Aki Taolabo at 23. The second free throw is out. So splitting his charities ay si Asi Taolaba. Ang mga trend ang kanyang free throw percentage kahit pa paano, up to 69 or rather 67 percent. Magmula ng quarterfinal round. Dito naman sa kapatid ng Barangay Hinebra, it's going to be a foul against Gerald Honeycutt. And that will be his third personal. Tagi na mo expression na doon si Gerald Honeycutt. Kinawa ka na nung foul, magic pa ng konti. Okay lang. Well, suddenly, nananahimik ito si Joel Zanikat as still scoreless in the fourth quarter after knocking in eight three-point shots. Torrey Braggs, nakawala sa kanyang depensa and only seven seconds ang may iwan sa shot clock ng Barangay Hinebra. Well, quick hands there by Paul Asitaulava. Braggs looking for a connection. Hinanap si Kagiwa. Kagiwa launches the three. Go. It's offline. Braggs with the offensive board. Kagiwa, they do. Well, you don't give Mark Kagiwa a second chance, no? Talaga, hindi susunugin ka eh. Nakuha na niya yung range sa doon sa unang team eh. At ito na naman, baba na naman sa walo ka naman ng talk and text. Dito ka dinding na naman, ika nga. The first single double-digit lead dito sa fourth quarter. Ibabalik naman ni Gerald Dhani kasi hindi ipapayag. Ay talaga pumayag eh. Hindi talaga. Whenever Hinebra starts to mount a rally, Gerald Hanekat will provide the answer. Pamatay sa unog. This person, hindi ka nga. Rags sa gitna. Rags. Medyo yung fatigue, nagpapakita na dito sa galaw ni Tori Bragg. Dapat mga 2 minutes pala pinahinga. Pila 1 minute, ha? Taolava with a low post set up. Andy Siegel ang tatakit sa kanya. Honeycutt on the outside. Bigay kay Pablo. Pablo, pressured. And Honeycutt, hesitation. Ito ang press ni Willie Miller. Pagkakas na naman ang ball movement. Para na talk and text. Ano din Pablo tried na ng person. Inabas yung bola. Inigot kay Hanikat. Torrey Bragg scoring two more para sa Baringa Hinebra. And the quick hands ni Torrey Bragg. Sinundut ka agad yung bola sa kamay ni Asi Taolava. Well, sinasabi ni Asi Taolava. Tinamaan siya sa bibig. Ito si Torrey Bragg. But that was after the swipe na eh. He just scored a basket at the single digit spread na ito for uh, talk and text. Ito na naman ha, last one minute na naman. Alam nyo yung uh, talk and text who have been so hot from the three point area is now just one point, one three pointer away from matching the all time record of three pointers made. Ay, yan po ay sinet ng Presto 
18 three pointers ang uh, pinas ng presto laban sa Alaska ang score nun 175 to 159 yan po yung nangyari noong 1989 pa allow the fans of Barangay Ginebra to get into the ball game in the dying minutes of the game yun ang 6th man oh, Barangay yeah. Ginebra and it was around this same time noong game 1 na humabol ang Jin King mapipigilan kaya ng uh, Pakutex phone pass yun dito sa mga game 2 malalaman natin as the action continues here's the turnaround jumper on his up in short recovery ni Mark Agiwa and that game 1 will haunt them forever no? could have uh, taken a 1-0 lead running jumper ni Hunter Band is no good offensive board by Eric Mink at nabawin ngayon ang talk and text wide open now for the slam by Gerald Honeycutt that could ease the pressure somewhat in the panic that talk and text enough because it could have been a five-point ball game to uh, the Kasi Teto Baragahinia but instead it's a nine-point lead by the phone pass. Half court setup ng Barangay Hinebra. They get it to Torre Braggs in the low post. Torre Braggs. He goes bump and grind against Honeycutt. Goes right, goes left. Too much. Nabawi pa the steal. Eric makes it in wala. Oh, sighing yun. Barangay Hinebra had two chances to score a basket. And uh, Torre Braggs and Eric make must both chances. Instead, Braggs gives up. His third foul on Asitao Lama, who uh, was all business trying to put the rebound. Oh, Ito yun eh, dalawang tira, sayang, nandun na, lumabas pa eh. Ito, nakuha pa nga niya kay uh, Tao Lama eh. Tapos palang tira yun eh, no? Oo. Dalawa kay Brad, sa kay Mika. Kaya balik ito ngayon sa Talk and Text. Miller and Alapag leading the charge in the backboard. Alapag. And they quickly go to Asi Tao Lama. Tao Lama. Trip ni Rodney Santos and Rodney Santos agad-agad nagtawag ng timeout really Miller tama yan back in form uh, he has 26 points in the ball game compared to only 14 in game 1 so usual Willie Miller numbers na nakikita na natin dito Mark Agiwa pinilit ang tres and talk and text phone fouls hoping to make this a done deal and of course, it's sad that on Sunday. Yon, yun ang mabigat doon. Nakapakalik, dito kita tayo sa aral at all of this. And for Pablo putting the finishing touches dito, no? 11 point lead, it's a double digit spread. So, mga na weather na ng talk and text of rally nitong Barangay Hinebra. Hindi nakapag-ingay yung mga fans sa Hinebra. Yun na nga, eh. Hahanapin kaya ng Hinebra ang kanilang 3 point shooting. Well, si Mark Agiwa, di na mahanap dito sa fourth quarter. What is this? Ano? Talagang sport of higher authority na to. Eh. Three points at ang three points at ang pinapalata ng Barangay uh, Hinebra. And the last two minutes brought to you by Hope, the luxury cigarette. At the talk and text, wisely wasting time. At si that time, nakita mo, ito si Asitao Laba was at the right place. Pagtanggap ng bola, ihit na lang, toy vlogs, wala na sa magawa kundi magbigay ng foul. What is it? Paul Asitao Lava in this game, eh, kakatorse puntos lang ang ginawa, no? Uh, compared to 23 points in uh, game one. Yun ang average at 20. Yun ang average niya, oo. Yun ang average niya. Pero, bali-bali naman yung trabaho na ito si Gerald Hanikat. Walang three-point shot. And Willie Miller is back in form, 26 points. The game is not yet over. Jimmy Alapag also provided some spark at the team well about eight points in the ball game but uh mahikita natin yung asisiguro nito marami rame apat na rebound hindi lang rebound brother para kay Jimmy Alapag and the icing on the cake mula kay Asis Tao Lava from the free throw line and Jimmy Alapag ito po na wala nang fouls to spare itong uh, talk and text ah, that was a useless foul ito kinigil mo yung oras binigyan mo ng free throw ito si JJ Helter Brand Nasa penalty na kasi itong dalawang teams na ito with uh, ano to, 102 seconds remaining. 1 minute and 42. Eh. And J.J. Helterbrand. Well, he has improved on his performance in Game 1. Ano? Dahil Game 1, eh, 13 points set. It's a ball game na ito. At si J.J. Helterbrand has uh, 18 points total na. At si J.J. Helterbrand ang uh, pinaka-consistent na sigurong uh, free throw shooter dito sa Barangay Hinebra squad shooting 91% of 
on the free throw line. Okay, and then uh, game one, then the closing uh, seconds, then the KGL will be the game ball. Eh? And on double team, the press against Willie Miller. Well, hindi nagmamadali itong song and text. Hindi talaga, oo. Sige, ubusin natin ang oras dito. Let's go, get it. Kanino ba ikakredit yun? Kay Hanikat ba o kay Asitao Lava? Di natin malaman. Kay Hanikat, ito kay Kredit yun. Ang Hanikat with 38 points and 15 rebounds. So, another double-double performance mula kay Gerald Hanikat. Well, talk and text isn't in a hurry here, ano? They're a minute away from printing a win and sending the series team to Sada Death, Sada Death Sunday, Giga. Oo nga. Pagpasok sa pace na ng ating laro. Medyo mga bagal na ang galaw ng mga players, lalong-lalo ng Barangay Ginebra. But who knows? Can they spark something here? Or it might be too late. Wala na, hindi na yata mahahabol ito. 11-point lead by the Talk and Text Bone Pals with only 43 seconds left in the game. Well, fourth quarter, one turn over lang. Itong Barangay Hiniebra as compared to seven turn overs on Talk and Text. And still, Talk and Text is ahead by 11 points, 112 to 101 with 43 seconds remaining and Gina Alapag as a free throw line could sweeten up things para di sa panic ng phone pals. Gina Alapag, 8 points in the ball game. If he makes both, he'll be in double figures also. First free throw na ito si Gina Alapag is up and in. That's his 9 points. At ito na, Mark Delan, Patrick Fran will be checking in para sa panic ng talk and text. Magpapahingayin na si Paul Asitao Lama dito. At si Valenzuela will make a rare appearance here para sa Barangay Hinebra. Wala na, mapping up operations na ito eh. Valenzuela hindi maunahan. Feel it in for the first time. It's sa ating ball game. And Alapag, isa pang free throw dito. 43.4 seconds remaining. It's all over. But the final score, second free throw ni Alapag is in. So si Alapag nasa double figures na rin. Oo. 37 seconds and counting. Formality time na lang ito for the Barangay Never Gin Kings and Valenzuela adding 3 points. Adding 2 stats, tama. Yun yan, 2 stats ka rin high na. And the Talking Text phone pass with the luxury of just having to waste time bago maging official na panalo itong Game 2. Nakita ang ating Jerry. Si Patrick Pan, nagdadagdag pa eh. Limang puntos para kay Patrick Pan. With another three-pointer, makakapag-match ng all-time PBA record sa three-pointer sa Talk and Text Montas. Malamang, hindi na nila iniisip to. Iisipin na lang nila, natabla na ang serye natin in this best of three semi-final round. And there will be a do-or-die no tomorrow.